to my channel um as you've just seen i've just replaced my washi tape dispenser because i was running low i'm still waiting on my washi tape and this was meant to be a valentine's day launch and it still hasn't arrived so i really hope it comes soon because it's way past valentine's day but today uh, it is actually sunday today hello on sunday normally i i have one day off a week and usually that's a saturday <laughs> uh, because it's nice and quiet here on a sunday there's no one in the office or anything like that it's nice and peaceful i listen to some animal crossing and campfire sounds and i just get to work uh, i'm currently in the process of cutting some easter bunny stickers ready for the launch today uh, for some reason i like to launch things on sunday around about 4 p.m gmt because it means on monday we come in and we can do all the orders so people aren't waiting so long uh so yeah i'm just replenishing stock that i've sold out in my etsy store and i am just making a big batch of great easter greeting cards um at the moment which is just over there i'll show you if you want so today we are just going to package some Easter cards. So I've already packaged these ones and these are printed on 100% recycled paper and also recycled envelopes as well. So this is my Easter one. So I've got the ha Hoppy Easter, which is cute. And then this one's my favourite one, which is I hope you have an excellent day. And these are the ones that need folding and putting into envelopes. So I'm going to do that now. These are the sticker packs that I've been making so I've got quite uh I've got quite a lot there as you can see so it's number one number two number three and over there is getting printed the final one they're currently in the cricket they're just ready to be unmounted so I'm gonna get to work on just doing all that sort of stuff and I'll see you in a little bit and happy monday we've got emily in Hello. and we're currently just in the office kind of doing orders and stuff and restocking on things that are sold out emily's currently packaging some marshmallow stickers over here as you can see because we sold out of them and then i've just stocked up on some pudding ones over here and as you can see quite a lot of them are getting low these are actually sold out in my shop so we sold these so i have to make a new bunch of them and they're just printing and yeah that's basically what we're up to but we're now gonna go into middlesbrough and have a drive because uh, i'm getting a cat <laughs> but 
it's technically already my cat it's one of my mum's cats and she was mine she's called fluffy my mum has five black cats um, and Fluffy is getting really really old now and it pains me every time I see her because every time I go to my mum's house on a Sunday she always runs up to me and cuddles up to me and she's just getting really old and see now and I think my mum and dad can't really look after her anymore because mum works now as a manager of a care home so she's just very 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 busy and my dad works out all the time and the other cats are still young and sprightly and go out and stuff but Fluffy's getting older she started peeping on the carpet so I said that I would take her but the only thing is as you guys know or maybe you don't know I have a dog so <laughs> introducing them is going to be a bit weird but hopefully Fluffy has already met Daisy and Daisy's already met Fluffy when um, they were up, um, when Daisy was a puppy I went around to my mum and dad's house to help them decorate and I took the dog and uh, Fluffy was quite dominant she was kind of just following Daisy around and <laughs> over the last she really was yeah. and then oh, and Daisy was kind of just like oh my gosh um, and Daisy's temperament with cats she never runs after them I think she's a little bit scared of them to be honest so I really want to introduce them but because I pet Fluffy all the time and like obviously I have Daisy they've got used to each other's scent so hopefully it should fingers crossed should be okay because they should be used used to each other's scent by now I've ordered a nice scratching post in bed which will arrive uh, tomorrow but we want to go to the pet store and we also want to go to Hobbycraft because our paper cutter is literally so bad we're cutting the art print paper and Emily said this is not working yeah. so we're gonna go to Hobbycraft and we're gonna go to a pet shop and buy some pet goodies let's go shall we <laughs> Look where we are! Hobbycraft! Literally, I get walked in here for so long. Like, <laughs> I literally will never be out of here. It takes me ages to walk around. Are you excited, Emily? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't been in Hobbycraft in ages. In ages? Look at all these arts and craft. This one's a huge one. They actually have two floors. But look at all these goodies. Oh my gosh. I'm literally in heaven. We need new scissors. <laughs> oh, look at all the stuff. And uh, the art supplies are upstairs, but this is all like pens and stuff for now. Like writing pens. Emily, what did we come for? I forgot already. This. <laughs> Everything. Everything. Ooh, look at this. You came for a paper cutter. That's so glittery and nice. Finger protectors. So much cute stuff. Oh my gosh. Hey, these are cute. Oh, I really want some glue because I want to start scrapbooking. Yeah. Let's go to the glue. Ooh. Look at these Easter wreaths and all this Easter goodies that they've got going on for a pound so you can decorate them or you can do Easter hunts. So you can fill them with chocolate. That's adorable. Ooh, I really like these pastel gift bags. They're really nice. Imagine some nice, um, some nice like stickers maybe like my easter bunny stickers and then some chocolate easter eggs in there that'll be really cute It'll be really cute and then my easter cards i like them i like all this party stuff too oh they've also got some plants and stuff here that look really nice these would make really cute like photo props and stuff uh, let's see oh like succulent ones hmm Cute. Look at this guys, scented paint. Why would you ever need scented paint? I'm not sure. But wouldn't it be fun <laughs> to get one of these like really cheap paint sets and do like a challenge with them? What is what? this? Well, look, heart sparkle paint. What has it got hearts in? No, it just says heart sparkle paint for some reason. Look at all these paints. Wouldn't this make a fun challenge? Oh my gosh, these colours are crazy. This colour is coming in fashion. Remember these in primary school that you used to use for glue? Oh my gosh. We still can't find the glue. This place is so huge. Also guys, these paper pads make really good backdrops for enamel pins and products. So if you're ever in Hobbycraft, they're normally about £10, but you get a massive pad of paper and you can use them as backdrops look like this one this one's cute this would make a cute backdrop or something like this ombre and then there's watercolor Del delicate rose mm -hmm. of all sorts so that's a little tip for you guys if you ever wanted to get a paper pad for a backdrop 
here they are. This is really cute. Your greatest adventure has just begun. It's a planner. I really like this. I found all the glue. It was literally as you walked in. How silly of me. I want something like a Pritt stick, but something a bit stronger for scrapbooking and sticking things down, but I can't decide what to use. Hmm. These remind me so much of school. Pritt sticks. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just going to get this uh, ultra stick. I think this will do for now. So we're done in paper, no, not paper chase, we're done in hobby craft and now we're going to go to Costa and get a coffee. Hey. Buffy's here. She's got a new collar on. Oh, oh. There she goes. Oh. Hi, Fluffs. Oh. And I'm gonna... Daisy, don't get too close. It's good because she knows the smell of fluffs. Daisy, I would be careful if I was she. She's been quite good with her though. She knows the smell. Do you know the smell? Bye, Fluffs. And in here, here's her little clap ball and water bowl so i bought her like this little cute cloud mat that looks like it comes out the skirting board we didn't know where else to put it because our kitchen's quite small so she's got a water bowl and then a cat food bowl the only thing is is daisy is so over excitable and daisy's had the corner shame on because she's cut her under eye so oh well fluffy doesn't seem phased at all Fluffy is already purring and having a chill time. She really doesn't care about Daisy, which is really good. You two are going to get along fine. As I was saying earlier, I bought a cute little silicone cat mat so her stuff doesn't fly about. And then she got two little cat bowls that's filled with water. And I got Daisy a little pink silicone mat from Pets at Home. And that's Daisy's food bowl over there. Then I obviously got a litter tray and it's pink and some litter liner. I'm using the wood pellet litter because it doesn't smell as bad. And then I got some cat litter air freshener. I don't know if this actually works. Some cat treats because um, she really, really likes these. I think mum has been given her these. Some 7 plus and 11 plus uh, whiskers cat food. I'm not... Um, with Daisy we order special dog food which has no cereals and stuff in but my mum has been feeding uh, Fluffy this for years so I'm going to put her on this but I would like to get her some better higher quality cat food eventually I bought her this little comb to groom her with 
cat litter tray liners because I like to empty the litter tray quite often. And we got us some catnip and some toys. And we got her a new collar with a little flower on. And Emily also bought Fluffy this little cat toy, uh, which is 2 dollars which is cute. So it's got a little bell on for it to chase. And I bought her some cat toys. And then her cat bed and scratching post is coming tomorrow. Oh, well, this is stressful, isn't it, Daisy? Oh, your pooly eyeball. Oh, no. She was uh, going for a run and she hit her head off the lamppost when she was chasing a ball. Oh, poor it is. So guys, happy Tuesday. I'm currently in the office. Emily has just went to get the new guillotine that we got yesterday from Hobbycraft out the car. Fluffy update, she is doing really, really well. She's super soft, super happy. She's been playing with her catnip toys. Um, she really doesn't care about Daisy. So we're thinking when she used to have her original house uh, before my mum and dad rescued her, we think she might have had a home with a dog in it because she honestly is not bothered or scared of the dog. She just kind of walks around and then this morning both of them were on the sofa together with me fluffy was on my lap and daisy was right next to me getting a stroke so it's all looking good for the first day it went really really well uh daisy's a little bit scared of her <laughs> and a bit wary of her so she kind of like circles around it but i thought i'll give you a little fluffy update i'm just currently making some marshmallow stickers and finishing off the sticker restock that we did yesterday emily's making some pin banners and she is just currently bringing up the new guillotine we bought oh there we go perfect timing someone talking about me yes so this is the guillotine we bought so i thought we'd do a quick unboxing together and then i'm probably gonna end the vlog there guys okay so i'm just gonna unbox it and give it a go there's an art print that needs trimming so might as well see what it looks like don't know what this is probably just to protect it during transit oh it's a magnet so this is a magnet that's really handy actually and it's got a magnetic grip so it's nice and tough yeah that's a good idea so it just slots on like this and you can adjust it wherever you want so if you wanted a perfect b6 cut you would line it to the line like this and then it's got this handle so i think i just screw this on it's got like a thread inside here I don't know if you can see yourself focus that I'm assuming you just do this yeah that pretty much works chop 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 let's chop something it also has this press here so it holds your paper in place without damaging your fingers so like a guard so you would put a piece of paper under there and you would hold this down and it would protect it against the blade uh, which is a good safety measure and one that one that. did not have that it had that tiny had a tiny black guard over here it can you see it but it it just yeah it was cheap it was cheap i mean it did the job but it wasn't that safe and the handle was loose so not great when you're dealing with a super sharp blade uh, but yeah, this looks pretty decent. I'm just going to chop a piece of paper that I've got uh, to cut up over there because, um, do you like it, em? Yeah. So I'm just going to print out some backing cards. This is 250 GSM card. I'm going to try uh, cut out two at a time, see how well it cuts through. Let's have a look, see. Wow, that's very sharp. It just cuts straight through, no questions asked. That is a very sharp blade. I would not like to have my fingers trapped in this. Uh, but yeah, seems to be working all right, and the blade's nice and sharp. Hello guys, it is later on in the afternoon now. It's actually 10 to 4. I'm looking a little bit worse for wear. Emily's doing a pin stock over there. She's counting all the pins and stuff. And we have been making these little freebie sheets. Look how tiny these are. So it comes with a little Easter bunny. So Mr. Bun that I've called him. A marshmallow and three little Easter eggs. And look how many we made. We have made so many and they're still cutting now. So these are going to be freebies for people who purchase things in my etsy store they have took ages to cut the problem with the cricket is i have to cut this outline five times um whereas a silhouette can do different depth 
cut lines so this is actually took me five times as long as it probably would take me to cut a silhouette one in uh, to cut it out in silhouette because it has to go around this line five times to score it and cut it out but I really wanted to do this where you could get a few different ones normally I just throw in a die cut like a die cut sticker but I just really wanted to do these tiny tiny little planner sticker ones honestly they are titchy like this is size comparison hello guys i've just received two letters in the mail and i have no idea what they are uh we are just kind of doing studio -y stuff like emily's doing a stock count at the minute and i thought i would open this in front of you because why the heck not there's two things here so and it's coming to the end of the vlog so the p.o box on opening is back at the end of the vlog so let's mount you up on my fancy new schmancy stand here and have a look what's inside okay so the first thing we've got is this letter thing and it's cute it says your happy mail here in this like brown envelope with like the sticker on the front oh nice hand lettering wow look at all this stuff in here kim Amy and Helen oh my goodness thanks so much guys let's have a look I absolutely am obsessed with planning at the minute and uh, my planner is getting worse and worse with time like let me just show you the spread from this week I have gone sticker crazy and it's slowly getting worse isn't it Emily yeah. I'm slowly getting more and more addicted to like just making it look pretty I don't even care about planning anymore I just want to make my pages look pretty but yeah I am a massive planner addict at the minute I am obsessed with it I find it really really fun to use all the stationery so let's see what stickers you've this got. This is why you need to start scrapbooking. Catherine. I know I really need to start scrapbooking. It's turning into a scrapbook. It is. My planner is turning into a scrapbook. So we've got this cute little ball things that look like Hello Kitty balls which would look really cute. You are awesome. We hope you enjoy these freebies because we three sisters are three years apart. Really want to thank you for choosing us. Uh, and they've got a code here so if you want to check them out. And then oh that's so cool. Look at this bookmark. And then a little um, planner set here which is really cute. You were just oh, saying you need these for your planner. I was just saying I needed something like this for my planner. And these are all pastel colours as well. They're really cute because then I can write little notes inside here. So they're really cute. These are so cool. Oh. So we've got some beachy umbrellas. That'll look really cool in my planner. And we've got some trees and some clouds. Get into this. Wow. And these are all these fantastic beast stickers. Look at all these. The print quality is very nice as well. Whatever paper you're using, please let me know because this is insane paper. This is amazing. And then we've got these absolutely adorable penguins. And this is such soft paper. Please let me know where you're getting this paper from because this is amazing paper. So we've got these cute soft penguins which are really, really adorable. Some happy mail. Oh, this is going to look so nice in my scrapbook when because I've kept some stamps from all over the world. So happy mail ones. Some little cool head ones. It kind of looks like me because I've got blonde hair. And I have a scrunchie like this too. So that's cute for the summer. Yay, some Harry Potter snitch ones because, I mean, who doesn't love Harry Potter? Some slivering ones, I love them. So this is a slivering girl, and then she this must be hair. Emily's. And she's got blonde hair, yeah. Woo! And then this must be Emily's Hufflepuff one. So thank you so much for that, Kim, Amy, and Helen. That is amazing. I am going to love these, and Emily's going to love her Hufflepuff one. <laughs> and I'm going to pop them straight into the back of my planner. Also, please let me know where you get a sticker paper from because that is beautiful quality. And then the next one we got is from Nanny. It says. So let's have a look inside here. Ooh, Nanny Lau. Oh, so much packaging. Ooh, handmade. Oh, wow, they're Mickey earrings. They're so cute and they've got like Mickey head beads on. Oh my gosh, I love them. 
they are stunning and I can't wait to wear them they will be also going on my Disney holiday with me because they're so cute am I right well, thank you so much how happy is that Hi guys and happy Wednesday we are in the studio again as usual doing orders and new packaging has arrived so I have been trying to reduce the amount of plastic I use in my products so my bookmarks were originally um, in the cello sleeves and they used to have a card backing on I think I've got one to show you like this uh, and I want to try and reduce the amount of waste that I use uh, so I reduced it to sell a sleeve but a lot of people were like well you're still using plastic you're not really eliminating the problem there so I did some research and tried to look for like bags and things I could find online and um, to kind of like resolve this or paper bags that were waterproof and I found a solution I think and I found these glassine bags of glassine which is actually for food and they're not like wax paper bags because wax paper bags can't be recycled Recycled and composted, I think. Uh, but these are completely 100% um, eco friendly, I think. They're compostable um, and compostable is that the yes. right word compostable, yeah biodegradable. compostable biodegradable and they're made out of pine wood i think it says so anyway they're a lot better than plastic because they're compostable and biodegradable and recyclable so they tick off the list so first it was wax bags because i wanted them to have like a waterproof ish coating on them so that the things didn't get damaged and i found these so i'm just experimenting with them now and i'm packaging them up the semi-transparent because I didn't want to put them in paper bags because that would mean it would be really hard for us to kind of see what was in the bags. I wanted something similar to Cellos and I kind of like that frosted look it gives and I just really wanted to experiment with them. So this is the final product. This is them and it kind of adds like a luxury to it. They are a lot more expensive than Cello bags um, but... I really like the look of them what do you think and then on the back they are sealed like this so that's the bookmarks and then they've got my little catnip logo there like that and then my cello sleeves used to look like this so obviously we're going to use the cello sleeves up first so they were just like this in a bag and now they look like this which is really pretty also they make a really satisfying noise listen to this So satisfying so yeah that's my new packaging and i ordered uh, these two i think it was from the house of paper so i ordered a thousand large ones and they've got like a glossy coat to them and then i ordered these smaller ones because i was thinking of getting rid of uh, the same thing in my sticker pack so as you can see all these sticker packs have a backing card and plastic paper uh, and plastic cellos now cellos are if it's cellophane i think are recyclable um but they're not compostable i think they biodegrade over time but it takes a long time for them to biodegrade i think i'm not an environment expert but i got these little tiny ones for them and i thought of eliminating all of them and just full putting the stickers individually in these bags and doing new sticker designs to seal them like a wax seal but obviously not a wax seal just to seal them into place so yeah but i need to experiment with that first but i ordered all them for my sticker packs so yeah new uh, packaging is coming that's a little bit more environmentally friendly hopefully and that's what they look like I'm really happy because we can still see exactly what they are and they're on our shelves like this for when we're picking up Etsy orders it's just that they've got like a frosting on also more talk this has arrived which is uh talking about plastic and environments but never mind this is vinyl and it's in matte pink and i want to do a lot more sit down art videos with you guys and i've got a white desk in my other studio and i just thought it would be really cute to add something different and add this pink vinyl to the top of my desk so i'm going to take you through them we're going to try and put this down i'm not sure how good it'll be this was off amazon for che super cheap and you got all this and it was about a fiver i think it was maybe tenner actually for all this and i got matte because obviously i have lamps photography lamps that are going to shine down onto my work and if i got a glossy one i didn't want it to reflect back and you could see like me in the reflection so that's why i've got a, like frosted matte pink so this is going to be fun so i'm going to take you through there and try and yeah try and put this on the desk 
So the cat bed for Fluffy arrived. So I wanna put this up and see what it's like. I'm excited about that. the desk yes I've left a patch of white I wasn't gonna leave a patch of white but it kind of looks cool and I can't be bothered doing the other side and kind of look it's like on a diagonal slant as I was laying it down this was the second attempt at doing it because the first attempt I got some air bubbles in it I tried to lift it up to get the air bubbles out then I stretched the vinyl and ruined the whole thing so I had to do it again but this time it was at like an angle but I'll show you what I mean so look, it's at an angle here, but it kind of looks cool. You know what it reminds me of? A Pantone colour swatch. So I think I might just leave it, you know. Uh, but it is on an angle. Hang on, I don't know if you can see if it shows it on camera. It doesn't, but it's on a slight angle. Hang on, let's go over here. Yeah, but it looks kind of cool. I'm going to pretend that it was intentional. <laughs> And then I just scored, I used the actual, uh, this table is just from Ikea, it's a standing desk, but it can be adjusted to a sit down desk as well. And uh, let's have a look. It had, it already had like score lines from where it's got like this trim on the end, so I just followed it around with a ruler and cut it. And this is the result. So it's nice and smooth. This is a light reflection by the way, not a dent. The only thing, it's got this little splodge here. But the rest is pretty smooth. That must have meant something was underneath. But I think it'll make a good camera backdrop look. Ta-da! So, it was a bit of a disaster because I was intending on doing the full desk. But I kind of like that half-tone look. And it kind of goes with the office in the other room where I've got like a split down the wall. So, I've just kept it like that. Oopsie. But I'm going to start using this room a lot more. I really, really want to purchase a MacBook so I can kind of do videos in here while Emily's packaging orders. Because we have the cricket going on and we have a lot of machinery going on and stuff, sometimes it's really, really hard to hear what I'm editing. So, I'll pop headphones in, but it's still a lot of like noise past the headphones, especially if I'm doing like my quiet bits of like B roll footage. So, I would like to use this room as more of an office but I really want to make it like quite cozy because at the moment it's a storage room for all like our things like shipping labels and boxes and stuff but I would like this to be my second office and it's going to be where I film like my arty type videos when I need to use a desk and use paints and pencils and stuff that's basically what I've done I've done this and I'm going to record a video now uh, so thank you so much for watching this vlog I freaking love you and I will see you in the next one all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye